guys and welcome back to my channel it's a girl i'm Indy here and just in case you're seeing my face for the very first time you're yeah, welcome to join us here so guys so we'll be reacting to bilbo on religion so let's take it away and hear what he's got to say here whatever whatever you're into you're into but i don't know i'm not into that religious stuff where uh and this is why i actually walked away from my religion just i had to be honest with myself one i didn't like to go and i didn't like going to church every week you know I just didn't. Part of it was I'm lazy. I don't like getting up on Sunday. And the other part was I already heard all the stories. Okay? <laughs> heard it three, four times. The dude hasn't come back yet. You know, we're just sort of mulching over the same shit here. I got it. Right? And then the other aspect was, you know, I actually, uh, I had to be honest with myself. I felt my religion made sense in everybody else's sounded stupid <laughs> I did look the, I'm not talking about the basis of every religion the basis of every religion makes sense you know the Ten Commandments right don't kill anybody don't touch my wife that's my bike right <laughs> that all makes sense of which I've broken I think I've broken just about every commandment except for the fifth one that's it I haven't killed anybody yet, all right? But the murderous thoughts that I have sometimes, I, I think I could do it. Like when someone gets on a plane and they kick off their loafers and they're wearing those gold-toed, like, dress socks. And they cross their feet at the ankles and they, they just start rubbing their feet together. Like, I, I see the whole thing. See the whole thing. Wrapping that sock. I see the whole thing, so we'll see. <laughs> Still early on, right? But just the stories of how we got here and where we're going and what happens after we die. Everybody else's religion sounded stupid, you know? Like I live out in Los Angeles, there's a bunch of Scientologists out there. And the first time I heard the story of Scientology, I was like, that is the dumbest shit. <laughs> I have ever heard in my life. Yeah. Like, your, your guy's name is Ron. <laughs> Ron. And he wasn't alive thousands of years ago, so you can hide a lot of it in the mystery. This guy was alive like 45, 50 years ago. He had a driver's license. <laughs> Social security number. There's like footage of him stubbing his toe. Motherfucker, right? <laughs> I don't know what happened. He was working at Denny's. He got sick of it. He's like, oh, I'll start a religion. Hey, everybody, there's a spaceship coming back. Everybody's getting sneakers. This is Tom Cruise. We're going to try to make you clear. Right? Now, look, I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> to be fair to the Scientologists, I am paraphrasing. But that's essentially. What they believe in. <laughs> and I said that is the dumbest shit I ever heard while simultaneously still kind of believing that a woman who never got fucked had a baby that walked on water, died, and came back three days later. So, yeah, that made total sense to me. So it just hit me one day. I was just like, well, why, why does that make sense? And that shit doesn't, you know? They got a spaceship in theirs, you know? We, right? We had the space shuttle, you know? There's sneakers. There's a lot of shit I can relate to in this. <laughs> Why does that sound so dumb to me? I don't know, you know what it is? You know, I think it's because I heard their story when I was an adult. I heard my story when I was like four years old. Right? When I heard my story, there was still some fat fuck coming down the chimney giving me Christmas toys. If I lost a tooth, there was a fairy. It was an Easter bunny. Why wouldn't there be some bearded baby moonwalking across the lake? <laughs> so 
throwing out bottomless buckets of shrimp or whatever, the, whatever he did. <laughs> of course that made sense. But what happened was as I got older, all of that stuff started to fall, right? Like, ah, son, there's, there's no fat fuck. It's your mother and I. Your mom's the tooth fairy. Rabbits don't have eggs. Her tits are fake. The NBA's fixed. Bankers are cunts. Most of your dreams won't come true. Right? And I was just like, wow, this is how the world is. And meanwhile, this shit was just floating, this 800-pound gorilla of this fucking story. And I just had to make a decision. What am I going to do? What am I going to do with this? Am I going to cling to it, be that person, you know? That's very offensive to me and other Christians and damn, damn, become that douche, All right? I mean, be like the casual Christian, right? With like, you know, some one foot on base and just, yeah, I kind of go a couple times a year and like, my parents come to town. I act like I go all the time and I, and I don't go anymore. <laughs> Or well, my last option, which was basically just, just let go of the shit, you know? Just let go. Just let go of it like, like that creepy moment in curling, you know? <laughs> you know that moment where the shooter, or whatever, whatever you call him, is just sliding with that rock, right? Just, let me do this right, just slide. <laughs> And you think he's along for the ride, the two of them, they're a team, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just goes fucking. <laughs> and that rock just keeps going, and this dude just stops. <laughs> That's what I did with my religion. I just, I just let go of it. I didn't read a riot act to anybody. I just, I just, I just let go of it. And on the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the... <laughs> I just... I just floated away. <laughs> so now it's like... I'm in this weird place where... I'm not in any religion right now. Unrestricted free agent. You know? <laughs> I'd like to believe in something, so I've been going around asking people what this shit is, and I haven't been able to find anything. I'm trying to be open-minded. I was doing a gig in Helsinki, and uh, over there, they're like Lutheran. And what they believe, they believe when you die, you're dead. And that's it. Dead. Like, like a pigeon, just, just laying there. Over. Blew my mind. I'm like, really? You're just dead like this? You don't. Like my religion was, you know, you you die and then you go up to get judged, right? God pops in the DVD of your life. Like, oh, I don't know about this right here. <laughs> mind explaining yourself? <laughs> this might be the most arrogant thing I say all night, but I actually resent the fact that I'm gonna get judged someday. Like, if that's true, oh, that somebody's gonna like judge it. me, that like, doesn't even make any sense. It's like, dude, you made me, so this is your fuck up, all right? Let's, <laughs> let's not try to turn this around on me, you know? Jesus Christ, if it, you, you give me freedom of choice, you make whores, you have me suck at math, and you don't think this thing's gonna go off the rails? <laughs> You set me up to fail, and now you got the balls to now question your own goddamn work. Dude, if I made a car, if I built a car and it didn't run, I wouldn't, like, burn it forever. You evil piece of shit, light it on fire. I wouldn't. I would troubleshoot. Is there gas in the engine? Is the battery charged? Anything beyond this, I gotta get a real man to look at it. But I believe in you. I'm gonna try 
can help you out. Oh, okay. So that was that was a huge journey for me because being I'm a Christian, like a deep rooted Christian. So, um, like we, this is what I would say. Um, it's my prayer that everybody will experience Christ for themselves. Uh, because from what people say, obviously he has not experienced it. Because maybe, like you know, there's a different. I tell, I tell people that there's a difference when you are from a Christian home. Like this is what your parents have taught you to believe. There's a difference from when it's something you've come to realize and you've experienced it yourself. That's why I say that love is better experienced than explained. Because there's a way I will explain love to you. you your understanding will not be root. Will not be deeply rooted. So you can easily let go of it. I can find fake and um, let me not talk too much. Ooh, let me not talk too much. But guys, I I just I just hope that we all will find we we'll find we we'll find it for ourselves, find the truth for ourselves. I mean, no matter what somebody says, I know what I found. And I know the experience I've been having, like the personal experience I've been having. And I talk about Christianity is beyond religion because I know that some, some persons have gone so wrong with it, the way they've gone about it, they've made it like now beginning to look like a whole different thing a whole different thing altogether they've made it like now like a doctor uh, what's the word it's so much doctrine and i think that's the thing that doctrine is not the thing keep people killing people but that's not the way christianity is supposed to be i'm beginning to talk to myself well, guys so until i come here next time just take care of yourself and you want to be happy guys and smile always don't worry because everything is gonna be all right <laughs>